So, Mr. Rove, new uh, New York Times poll out today shows President Obama doing very well in Florida, Ohio, Virginia. Dick Morris is going to have some thoughts on that later. But do you take that poll seriously? No, I don't take those three polls seriously. Here, here's the why. In Florida, they have Obama head by one point. They have seven points more Democrats and Republicans. Even in 2008, there were only three points more Democrats and Republicans. Similarly, Ohio, five-point margin for Obama, eight-point advantage for the Democrats, eight points in 2008. Does anybody think Ohio is going to be as Democrat as it was in 08? And finally, Virginia, two points for Obama, eight-point Democrat in 2008. It was six points Democrat. Again, does anybody think it's going to be better than it was in 2008? No. At, at, at mildly, that's called absurd. All right. So let me, uh, let, me just important- run it, let me just run it down for the folks. All the polls say, all of them say, that Republican voters are more motivated this time around. <clears throat> so when Mr. Rove says, do you think it's going to be the same Democratic turnout in Ohio and Virginia as it was in 08, the answer based on the data is no, because Republicans yeah. are more motivated this time around than they were. Yeah. Secondly, yeah. Yeah. when you poll, <clears throat> you take the political affiliation of people you call. As Mr. Rove just uh, told us on his little board, his little whiteboard he carries everywhere, they poll more Democrats in each of the three swing states than Republicans. All right. But the folks don't know that because The New York Times doesn't put that in the headline. So my question to you is, do you believe, based on your experience, that The New York Times does this to influence the vote by telling people, you know what, it's a foregone, the president's going to win? Uh, You know, I I don't know what their motives are. All I know is it's sloppy journalism and bad polling. In fact, look, we've got you. You want to look at some real numbers? Take a look at these, Bill. Ohio early and absentee ballots through Tuesday night. Democrats have cast 181,275 fewer early votes or requested that many fewer absentee ballots than in 2008. They still got four or five days to go. That number is going to go smaller. On the other hand, the Republicans have have already voted or requested 75,858 more absentee ballots or early votes than they did four years ago. That's a delta of about 256,000 swing from Democrats into Republicans. And remember, Obama won the state by 262,000. If you needed any evidence of how energized the Republican base is in states like Ohio, take a look at this, where they're already voted, have got more voters out in early voting and more absentee ballot requests than they had four years ago. And the Democrats, one heck of a lot less. And, I, you know, that's why I feel reasonably confident that the Republicans are going to carry Ohio. And, and it runs just ex- exactly counter to to uh, the, the, the Quinnipiac New York Times CBS poll. Okay.